While we'll be using Scanx Classic for our demonstration, everything you see will apply to Scanx I.O. and Scanx Duo. Turn Scanx on by pressing the power button located on the front of the unit. You'll also notice the eraser button. This controls the inline eraser function. This is turned on by default so that your flexible sensors are ready to be reused as soon as they have been scanned. You can turn this feature off by pressing the eraser button. A blue LED will keep flashing to indicate the inline eraser function is disabled. Use the transfer box to store the flexible sensors until you're ready to scan them. Open the transfer box before interacting with the patient and exposing the sensors. This will prevent cross-contamination. You do not want to touch the box with your used gloves. For patient safety and hygiene, place the sensors in a barrier envelope prior to use. With your gloves on, take the sensor and insert it into the barrier envelope, with the printed side of the sensor visible. Peel off the adhesive strip and use your fingers to seal the envelope. Each sensor has a printed side and a blank side. It is important to ensure that the blank side faces the x-ray tube and is the side being exposed to radiation. You can continue to use your existing film holders. You might need to fold the barrier envelope to fit inside the holder. If you're using alligator clips, make sure you file down the teeth. On the printed side of each flexible sensor is the letter A. Position it so that you can read the letter A without being inverted. Place the holder with the flexible sensor inside the patient's mouth with the opaque side of the envelope facing the tooth. Before you begin taking x-rays, you may have to reduce the x-ray dosage. With most exposures, flexible sensors require less radiation than film. A good starting point is an exposure level that is 50% less than D-speed film. Make adjustments based on your personal preferences. Once the image has been exposed, remove the envelope from the patient's mouth. Tear the envelope lengthwise, starting at the notch, and gently let the sensor drop into the open transfer box, printed side up. Be sure not to touch the sensor or the box with your gloved hand. Repeat this process if you need to take more x-rays. Remove your gloves and close the transfer box. Now you're ready to scan the flexible sensors. Since we're using size 2 flexible sensors, we will use size 2 plate guides. Insert the guides onto ScanX. If you need to scan differently sized intraoral imaging sensors at the same time, choose the appropriate plate guides and insert them simultaneously. Use your imaging software to activate ScanX and choose the image type and resolution you want. When ScanX is activated, the four LEDs will illuminate green. Now you're ready to insert your sensor. Open the transfer box and take out a flexible sensor, holding the long edges of it with your thumb and index finger. With the printed side facing you, insert it into the proper guide slot. Push it down with your finger being flush with the top of the sensor until you feel the scanner start to pull it and it is moving downward on its own. At this point, the LED will turn amber, indicating that the sensor is being scanned. You can simultaneously load up to four sensors at a time, or up to two plates if using the Duo. Once the LED turns from amber to green, you can insert another sensor. Each sensor scanned will automatically erase. You can return them to a transfer box or store them for your use again in their original packaging. Once the sensors have been scanned, the imaging software will take over and allow you to view, enhance, and store each image. The image on the monitor will appear normal or mirrored. Some images may need to be rotated in the software. You should review the instructions provided by your software manufacturer to see how to view, enhance, and store the images in your patient's chart. ScanX can have a tremendous impact on your practice, both for managing your costs and for your patients. The phosphor storage plates are extremely thin so that your patients are comfortable while their x-rays are being taken. You will also value the cost savings from no longer needing to buy chemicals, having a dark room in your office, and maintaining film processing equipment. We thank you for choosing ScanX and hope that you enjoy using it. The workflow for the ScanX Swift couldn't be easier. Choose the correct plate guide to be used on the Swift unit. The size 0 guide should be used for a size 0 sensor and a size 2 guide for size 1 or size 2 sensors. Place a new barrier film sheet on the Swift. 
you will want to ensure the barrier film covers the buttons and that the slit is over the slot of the plate guide. Then insert the ScanX sensor into the barrier envelope. Start the imaging software, selecting the patient and the desired resolution. Place the sensor in the patient's mouth as usual using a standard positioning guide, as we are showing here, or a bite wing tab. Then leave briefly to go to the x-ray machine to capture the image. Remove the sensor from the patient's mouth. Hold the sensor above the inlet guide with the printed side facing you and the notch of the envelope on the bottom. Tear the envelope open starting with the bottom notch while lowering the sensor into the inlet guide. Press the sensor down until the unit grasps it and moves the sensor on its own. And now, only 9 seconds after inserting the sensor into the unit, your image is ready. Even if you use heart sensors, Swift Flexible Phosphor Sensors will be a good alternative since they are comfortable for patients with small mouths, difficulty in opening wide, or gag reflexes. Swift. More comfortable for patients. Easy for your team. 100% of the radiographs you want.